story for us. As we will have a look at the flight path right across the map, leaning slightly towards the southern part. But I think it's a generous flight path, which the C-130 and the PUBG lords have uh, graced our players today. And we'll have a couple of players pushing into Georgia Pole. And uh, it should be fairly interesting to see how it's going to pan out. So it's a nice flight path, a nice start to today. And, of course, we will have uh, a couple of teams touching down already at Georgia Pole. We have uh, T-Bone with his group from Continuum going to be going up against UNHC, who is in Continuum. So a couple of uh, players splitting up here over Georgia Bowl, a mix of two squads. Uh, Pachinki, Primorsk will be taking Unconspicuous from Forsaken. Uh, TSM go, decides to go for the Western Coast. And we have Frozes and Ultrazar, the Penta Esports lineup going for the military base. Completely uncontested, easy pickings for them. A couple more teams landing here on Milta. The Crater be taken up by Ataxia. Drayden here coming in for Enix. Nice to have them back in the playtest. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have a hot spot as usual in Roshawk. So uh, we're going to see how these teams will split up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six teams. If I could see a taxia are split, spread out here on the eastern side. The circle will be forcing its way to a more westerly finish. So TSM, we're going to be really, relatively well set up for that day night. We have uh, SDL Esports here taking the southern part of Roshook. So it should be fairly interesting to see what we will find out and how the game will play out. The looting phase, we have... Uh, Ibiza coming in from uh, Kingwins, but the team is not participating in today's game. Just a you know a little want to keep his sh skills sharp and ready for any sort of action. Vox is going to be loading all by himself, and uh, no real fights breaking out right now. As uh, Continuum will be taking up Georgia Pole South and Georgia Pole North will be belonging to the other team. So as we have this looting phase going on, we of course can have some lovely looks at the various areas on the map. And uh, I think we're going to have one team pushing up to Saverni in the meantime. But uh, Meteora26, I believe, is from uh, Team... Let's see, it's a new team, so I can't exactly place their existence, so to say. Where are they in the lineup? Anyways, it will come to me later. Sliz and them. They will, oh, that is a Suicide Squad taking up Georgia Pole North. And they're going to be pushing in here. No engagements yet. I think the most we will have is uh, up here in Ra's Hook. So let's get back into the main game and have a look at what uh, SDL Esports will come into in this very beginning. I mean, they have Rain Zero from SK. He is just around the corner. Possibly we'll be able to get a little bit of information about Day Knight coming in. He's ready. He's prone. He's got the information. He has the height advantage and a decent starting weapon for him to work with. But I'm not sure if he's aware of the players pushing in from SDL. Day Knight probably has spotted someone. And uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back. A quick problem. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for the technical difficulties. The game decided to crash after moving a couple of meters in the spectator cam, so it's not something 
to be worried about, but we are back. No action has happened yet. 83 players alive, which is uh, slightly more, but I believe there's a... Anyways, looking back at the map as we wait for the game to load in, and before I make the daring attempt to leap into this perspective, uh, Enix looting up on Milta, Odin Thor from Legion taking up Milta's city, and still no engagements happening. We have, uh, let's jump on over to uh, this game. See where they're going to be. They're going to uh, looting up in a very uh, passive style. Deciding to go for a small risk, a little reward possibly won't be too much of a problem for them to try and get into this. But VZ coming in here right into the trap of AMPR, who is also part of a taxi. Is this a trap? I'm not sure. AMPR, not a well. VZ completely alone. From one headers, so this is a very good team, ladies and gentlemen. They are not rookies. I just want to rectify that situation. I've been placing very high on other ranking tables, and are an absolute lethal force. Did quite well in play test number eight, coming in quite high in their ranking. I believe they placed third or fourth overall. And, uh, if anything, I am hopefully not mistaken with my statistics. But NPR. Loaded out with a UMP and shotgun. Should be relatively well equipped to deal with this one player. No other engagements going on so far. Vehicle extraction going on Raw's hook. But uh, right now there's no pivotal moments for us to observe as the game will progress. Just uh, AMPR enjoying the swamplands, having a gander, having a look around. And we'll try to regroup with uh, the rest of TSM and continue the looting phase. But I'm still curious to see what action. Let's have a look here at uh, Penta over in the military base. Completely well prepared for the situation at hand. They're going to be entering into the fight well geared. Unless Noble here will set up a defensive parameter on the bridge stopping any sort of push coming in because they 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 do not know they have no idea how many players are on the island of Sosnovka and it could be worthwhile for them to capitalize and set up a defensive position on the bridge and stop Penta Esports from crossing and getting into the safe zone in the first playable area but the blue is starting to move in and we do have a couple of players outside of the circle and of course we could have a couple of defensive positions here from SDL, set up in Raw's hook. The great Cornhorio probably searching for some TP. <laughs> Gonna be moving into Georgia Fall, but uh, easy looting so far. No engagements between the different various teams. I think we might get one right here at Hulo from Galactic Dolphins, and his team decided to take up this. Relatively nice strategic position. Their teammates are coming in from the east and should be regrouping. I, I'm pretty sure they hear the vehicles coming in from the south and this is a popular spot to hold. But uh, usually if we find teams taking this um, three buildings in the north. That uh, Jemti and Meterbot from Ataxia are coming in. So we do have a, a switch up in the lineup. Jemti previously played for the Sona Boys, who were an absolute lethal team, and did prove it. Quite a quite a well-disciplined and diligent team. So uh, attacks are going to be definitely happy to have him on board in their lineup. But uh, we have Great Corn Holier here with the UMP, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, we award one point per kill as to incentivize and you know try to you know entice people to not hang around in them buildings. And I really do want to see Cornholio's perspective. Who is right in this building. Going to be checking around the corner. There he is. One coming out. Managing to put a little, little bit of shots onto Old Panda. Galactic Dolphins could be the first casualty of today's playtest. The shots coming in from the side. Well flanked from Hall. The information was given out. Great Cornholio goes down. And it is will be an easy pick up for them. As they pick up this lovely kill. And take out Great Cornholio early on in the game. 
I could just find out what team. That is a uh, corn shuckers. The great corn holio all by himself. Corn shuckers are down. Now we have this massive exodus from outside the play zone coming in. We could have another uh, opportunity here for Kulo to try and pick up some shots. So Galactic Dolphins did have a little bit of a scare there with uh, Great Cornholio, but he was by himself, so it wasn't much of a problem for them to deal with. And uh, they just they reclaimed that territory very quickly. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if they will move on or continue holding on to this location. Or will they continue to hold it down? We do have a one engagement here between two teams. The Dubs and his boys as Dubs gets knocked out, completely exposed, with only 10% of his health remaining. Has to go into there, but he gets taken out. And a little frag going towards Eitzi from Juan Hedas. And it is going to be interesting to see how he will hold on to this. Juan Hedas have a couple more visitors around. Split it between the two houses. Miguel. Energetic Turtle. And uh, that's Blue Who and Hector. But this is off constantly here in the two buildings just to the north. And a couple of pot shots being taken out. Uh, some then, some Fang getting taken out. And a double shot coming in from Energetic Turtle and Aitzi. And they're just gonna capitalize on the kills and catching them points. Is that's uh, points mean prizes, ladies and gentlemen, and a nice amount of uh, loot for them to pick up. We have a Jexus here, and I'm not sure if I can recall that is a Legion going into the Wizard Tower. The Legion uh, have performed relatively well in the previous play test. TSM are still alive, holding on to the edge of the circle um noble who won last play test with an astonishing amount of points and it was a very close point gap between kinguin and noble with noble taking first place and two points between the two so that was play test eight and noble sure have the skills necessary to potentially continue winning they won two of the three games in playtest eight and have been coming in the top three for the previous playtests. So it's also very interesting to see. Havoki tries to nab a couple of shots from the center of the UAZ. Nothing much that he can do as they will continue moving into the circle. Still not much information given. And a relatively similar circle, which we saw earlier. Let's go over to Envy. to uh, go on his merry way here in a freshly painted yellow Lada. So that is uh, Zampa and his team just around the corner. And I'm curious to see if anyone managed to pick up a crate drop. We have one coming in right now. We jump over to Frazes from Penta. It seems to be clear from his perspective at the moment. How many players? Hopefully, could get a drop. Apologize for the camera work. But we have had no drop coming. There we do. It will be landing in Pachinki. And King Kevins and his boys will possibly claim this one. And they are relatively well kitted out already. Some suppressors, decent scopes. Not too fancy with the rest of their gear. But I think they will come in. So Team Oxygen. Team Oxygen will grab a f breath of fresh air as they claim this crate. And still no conflicts going on. Potentially one here in the south. It's Isaac. Going to land a couple of pot shots. Not enough information. And... Uh, Just will, they will be frustrated with not managing to pick up a frag on that drive-by. A couple of shots continuing here. Zoxy are trying to get into safety with his vehicle taking a significant amount of damage, but he seems to be alive and well. 
and uh, continual shots coming in from this side. As it is Sliz and Meteora from Suicide Squad telling him to move on up the hill, and it could be a hill battle. So high ground will be a priority for these teams to claim before they continue on in the fight. Couple of shots going on, and uh, oh, Meteora has, has been taken out. Let's go to Havoki from Mix's win. Not sure how much information they have to try and engage this. A very long range for to to engage uh, Oxygen up on the hill. Seems to be very uh, clear here. Sorry, that's a suicide squad up on the hill. You're gonna lay loud. There's no pressure for them to move into this uh, to a different circle, although it is beginning to progress. The blue is on the way. TSM have a little bit of conflict just looming next to them. Anderside and and that those boys. Couple of pot shots going out. I'm not exactly sure who is trying to get the shots, but uh, it seems like it is a worthless cause for them to try and pick up them shots and continuously reveal their position by doing so. And um, it seems as Vince, this has, he smells something. He smells some victims at the end of his crosshair. I'm curious who it is. It is Baseline having a house party. But there is no rush for our teams right now as they are in the center of the circle. No pressure as of just yet. A taxi holding on in this area. Enix holding on to the northeast of Gatka. But this is the closest potential fight and we have teams just holding on to this road. Hopes of a quick getaway and setup to try and get into the next opportunity. They are waiting, and we will finally find out the next position of the circle as the heat will get turned up. 72 players alive. This is actually an unusually high amount of players for this size of circle. We usually end up with around 50 players, so players are being a lot more cautious, and uh, they seem to feel that there is a lot more on the line with how they will do this. And let's go to one of these houses. It's Group C. Who could potentially get a couple of pot shots as the vehicle convoys start rolling in. There goes one head as Voxic from Enix in close pursuit. Everyone is trying to scout out a sweet and protected location before they continue and set up. And we have an engagement here trying to bomb the shelter. Yuan has been taking out VZ coming in from the side with SK-12. Absolutely lethal weapon from this side. And let's see what will happen. As Miguel has been taken out, one head is not doing so well. As Energetic Turtle and VZ the last two remaining. T-Bone TV from Continuum holding the higher ground. And there is going to be a little bit of a fight or flight situation. The high ground belongs to Fausto Copy. And Energetic Turtle is the first one to come in. But he doesn't pay attention and he pays the price. Gets eliminated and is all relying to Mirku. That's an absolute AK shredding through the flesh and taking him out. Energetic Turtle managed to save and keep his team together as a couple of players remain. And I think they have cleaned up T-Bone TV, the last one on the roof. Can he hold it down? Using the shotgun to try and survive. One shot, the reload coming in. T-Bone. Can he hold on to it? Managed to take one out. A second one! And he doesn't manage to pull it into a third. Two down teams. The revival come in, but it was a you know, valiant effort from his part to try and stay alive as we do have more action brewing between the two teams. Noble GG trying to put off a couple of shots. Um, Sky Zone has been taken out. TSM are moving to the circle. Team Heads Up are also quite far. Need to travel a significant distance to try to get back into the game. We have some swimmers with SDL Esports and Odie Panda. Could potentially get out of the water. He spots a couple of players, but remember, bullets do not go so well in water. It is not an ideal relationship. 
for them to try and do thing, but uh, Gula is popping out of the water, and he's actually the first one to try and put a couple of shots in. Just gonna go back to this perspective so I can get rid of this water bug audio as the fight will continue. Appreciate it if uh, you go up. We'll do it this way. Over to Noble. You have one head as in their crosshairs just along the way. And not many fights coming in as we do have a crate drop coming in just to the south of Georgia Pole. And only Panda. And there's not many prices being put out as uh, we return to this fight here from Daz. Odin Thor from Legion are we coming in from the south as well. Going to be going through a crossfire valley and hopefully take position at the hospital it doesn't seem to be a favorite spot at the moment no one has taken it as attacks are holding on to the warehouses just south of the georgia pole containers and they could be ready as raptor the raptor and his team are holding on to this position i'm still not sure jempty putting in the shots noticing these players trying to push in and set up there's the crosshair, the shot, but no connection. Trying to get in, information is being given out. The peaking is getting ever more dangerous as Jempty recalibrates his shot and compensates the bullets and manages to take down another player with the car 98. 55 players remaining in the circle is getting smaller, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue on our way. Let's go to the perspective of Odin Thor from Legion. Gonna have to go on a Tom Cruise runway escape as one of them gets taken out and he could have taken damage there but he does manage to hold on by a threat odin thor could revive his teammate jex as he decides to get in cover by the rock as he does take suppressive shots coming in from these players just south of him and eightsy is here trying to put the damage onto the team one head is still alive took a significant amount of damage in the previous rounds and I'm curious to see how they're going to be trying to fight this one. They have advantage. They have info. Now it is a question of who's going to go where. What is the strategy? What is the point of call in this situation? Have a quick look at the map. See if any other engagements are going on. We have one tap. Bap the clap. Coming in. Throwing in a little surprise. To try and help his teammates. As Karjala is being revived here up above. But El Maniaco is trying to stop any sort of resuscitation from coming into play. As the ridge is no longer really a point of interest for the teams. As they try and stay alive, a three situation. And uh, Noble actually going in for the hillside here. Ibiza and Hawaki taking off a couple of pot shots. Onto Anonymous, that is Enix driving on in the distance. Product and V taking a significant amount and gets knocked out. Andy Pyro manages to secure a kill and pick up another point for his team as we do have more fights going on here in the containers. Let's go to Odie Panda. Kit it out with the ghillie suit and a Groza, which is an absolute beautiful weapon for someone to use, especially in a close quarter combat area but his team seems to be spreading out trying to get the ideal flank in front of him before they move on up but the fight is still going on noble holding onto this edge as the carnage is taking place along this ridge like sacrifices being provided to the gods could you not think of a more sacred place for a bloodbath to occur but Olmpact is staying alive. He's being vigilant. He's being wary. His two, three teammates are down. He has one player in front of him. He has very limited options. But should he revive? Should he help? Marty coming in from the top. He manages to peek. He's going to take other shots. Manages to down Marty. And there it is, the kill with the headshot. But Prison coming in with the flank, manages to secure a frag. The refrag coming in, but he's not in this clear just yet. Prison does get eliminated by El Maniaco, who is an absolute maniac with the M416. One tap, bap, the clap, corner. There he is, one coming out, managing to put a little bit of shots onto Old Panda. Galactic Dolphins could be the first casualty of today's play.
I do apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. We did have a delay. Um, some highlight reels deciding to play in the background, but it should be uh, okay for now. I do apologize that I was uh, traveling back in time with my voice, and uh, I apologize for the technical difficulties there. But we are set up with 30 teams, uh, 30 players remaining. Not sure on the team count. Odin Thor is absolutely alone, trying to hold on. Blue Who and Froz is well set up. Froz is by himself. Blue Who as well, a, a single entity remaining from his squad but we shall see how it continues from now on energetic turtle one ahead is trying to pop off a couple of shots zampa getting absolutely shredded with the energetic turtle holding the high ground and that lethal xks on the balcony should probably clean up this mess before they have a chance to push into the circle and we do have interrogate coming in from noble trying to pick up a couple of shots but I don't know if he's going to make it, going to decide to go for the revive. A little bit of damage being dealt as the high ground does belong to the other team. So then he needs to cross out that play. And uh, this is crucial if they want to keep Noble GG in the game. Daz is, is still alive, but nowhere to be seen. Not too close by. And they're going to be pinched in by the circle. Interrogate probably spotting one player not wanting to engage just yet as that circle is coming and going to be providing a significant amount of damage he's holding on with 10 percent health and he does get taken out there that's the absolute rain of bullets coming tear his body apart two bits and pieces as we do have a couple of players here trying to capitalize on the latecomers into the circle black's gamer setting up some shots with the shotgun at the end game and you say that you need high-end gear to come out on the high end of the scoreboard, but that is not true, ladies and gentlemen. That is not true. Rozes is holding on, staying alive. Who is the last remaining wild card in this fight here? It is Damien. Team Heads Up is still alive. And I'm curious to see, unfortunately. A little 1v1 situation. Here we come with the Lyric from the... High jump shot, Damien coming in with bullets. There it is, the shot's going on. No one really capitalizing and winning on this one. Black's coming in for the backup. Damien is getting pinned with bullets from above. Leopard instead of a message to take down two players and he has to revive. He has his chance to whip out the car 98, but he does end up staying alive, surviving by just a thread, crawling and trying to stay alive. And that is the end of that story. And it seems that TSM have been eliminated, if I'm not mistaken, with Andy Pyro and his team still alive still doing well and surviving zampa the question is who has the ideal circle right now it seems to be frost is waiting it out being patient not wanting to do anything as a, a taxi are gonna be <laughs> trying to do a vehicle evacuation from the warehouses and push up into the circle meter bot taking a significant amount of damage as he tries to get in to the next play zone jempty rocking off on the motorcycle and Odin Thor from behind, and they're gonna try and hold on to this, but Zampa is taken out. Paradox gonna try and revive and hold on to his team players. But the shots coming in from the side, and that's Havaki eliminating that team. T heads up, Atsy with a little bit of pot shots going out there, but nothing to connect. Gonna pick up a frag there, get an extra point for his team, and he does manage to spot Damien just up on the hill above him. So we shall see. Ibiza is gonna be moving in, the shots are coming in, it's Mix's win. Well, they si hold on, and they are set up for the circle. Nice and happy, easy peasy. All they need to do is defend a full squad remaining. They are all intact, and Ibiza can even be a distraction in this situation. Froz is still being calm. Ibiza with a Scar L lining up a shot. Not much information for him to work with, to be honest. A couple of peaks coming out here and there, but deciding to stay alive and stay safe. Ibiza gonna be the cannon fodder it will be used as bait but completely unaware of Froz's bush 
location. These bushes, Ibiza coming in. Frazes could potentially pick up a nice frag for his team. Holding on, he is in the top four. Deciding to not reveal his position just yet. Deciding to be patient as the next circle will start to move in in 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Ibiza trying to bait out the shots, trying to give information. Eightsy. Right here with Blue, who just prone right in front of him. He knows that they're right next to each other, neck and neck. Probably breathing down each other's shoulders, trying to pick up the shots onto Andy Pyro. Rapture the Raptor going prone. Holding on, staying alive. Blue Who here. Oh, the suppressed shots coming in from Frazes. And that is Penta holding on to third place. Blue Who. The last one arrive as the. Oh no, he's stuck on the. Oh, what a terrible, frustrating way to finish there. As Blue Who tried to get into the circle, but allowing Mix's win to claim first place in today's game. Followed by Blue's Who of Off Constantly in second place. Third place with Penta Esports. 8C Miguel from One Hedda's doing a noble fourth place. And Alice Malice with Team Forsaken. Holding on to 5th place. There you have the rest of the scores, ladies and gentlemen. It has been one hell of a lovely start to today's playtest. Playtest number 9. Hope you guys are enjoying today's game. I do have a problem with the camera, but that is okay. We will fix that very soon during the break. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Round 1 is concluded, done, and dusted. We have our winners for the first round. We got two more rounds coming up, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with round two.